In this video, I'm going to explain how to install PocketMine using Git. So it's an alternative way to using a FAR file. It's a good way to keep updated, to check out different branches, and to start modifying PocketMine for your own needs. So we'll start off at the PocketMine PMMP repository, the official repository here. I'll put the link uh, down below. And we're going to use clone or download, and I'm going to copy this URL here. So back into my terminal, this is where we were last time um, that we set off at the end of the last video. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, actually I'm not going to do that, I'm going to rename, in fact now let's do that first of all, we might as well. I'm going to git clone with the recursive option the URL that I just copied from the from GitHub. So git clone recursive. This is in my um, in the same folder that we were in. So this is going to clone PocketMine. It's going to download all the branches and allow us to switch between branches, edit the source code, and run the server from source, and make a new server far if if needed to. Uh, if you download the zip file on here like a lot of people do, they just download the zip file. That won't get the sub-modules. You would, you'd have to go into the source folder here and download Ratlib and SP, uh, SPL separately if you do that. So much better just to copy this address and use git clone here. So that actually makes a new folder here called PocketMine MP, which is going to contain the entire GitHub repo. So let's go into there. Let's copy that. CD, that didn't copy. So, if I now do git log, for instance, I'm going to see the latest changes that were made to PocketMine. So, May the 2nd, we're fully up to date. So, Q. Uh, if I try to run the server now, however, it won't start. Uh, I can just show you that anyway. It's not going to run because we haven't got PHP, we haven't got anything. Uh, we haven't got the installer here. So the installer, however, I did that in the last video. So we've already got a bin folder containing the PHP installation. So I can just copy that from a higher level, dot, dot, slash. I'm going to copy the bin folder into the current folder. And if I now list, we can see that I've got a bin folder that contains PHP. We've got the PocketMine source code here. And we've, we can see we're in a Git folder because we've got these hidden Git folders here. So um, I can now run the server. And we've got this, the installer. I'm going to skip the wizard again. So you can see that we've actually now set up a server from Git, uh, from GitHub directly. Uh, once again, no plugins. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you that um, if, for instance, I list the branches, I can see we're on the master branch here. Now using GitHub, that actually enables us to switch to any other branch. So I could test out the MCP11 version um, just by typing git checkout and, and uh, checking out a different branch. You can find all the GitHub commands uh, on Google, obviously. I'm not going to teach you them here. Uh, but the important thing to know is that we are now actually on the master branch. So we could go into the source folder, for instance, and we can look at the code. We can modify the code. Since we're running the server from source, our changes will take effect the next time we run the server. And that allows us to do whatever we want with the code of the server. So let's, um, let's just do a quick dirty hack here that a lot of people are looking for. I'm going to use Nano, but again, you could use an IDE for this. If you set your IDE to use the PocketMine source folder, um, then you'll get autocomplete in your IDE, and you'll be able to easily find class definitions and everything when you're debugging plugins and things. So let's just um, let's just go and look at this file. I'm going to search for something. So this is a line of code that just happens to allow pocket mine to try and load any plugin um, regardless of the API version. So I'm going to set that to true just to show you that we can um, that we can modify pocket mine. 
and run it from source. So let's go back up to where we were. So here we've got the plugins folder. Let's go back into there since we've got no plugins installed. We're going to go and get dev tools. So you could download dev, dev tools here as a zip, as a far file, and then copy it into the plugins folder. I'm actually going to copy the link. And I'm going to use wget. And there we go. I've now got dev tools installed. Um, while we're at it, let's install another plugin from using GitHub. So I'm going to go to simple warp here. And instead of using the download zip, etc., we're actually going to start using GitHub properly. We're going to copy that address. And when I'm in the plugins folder, I'm going to git clone. I don't need recursive because there's no submodules for simple warp. But I'm going to clone the simple warp. So you can now see that I've got a folder called simple warp. And if I list the files in there, I can see them. If I list, list all the files, if, um, if I git log, I can see history. And I can modify the plugin now. I could, for instance, update the API version in plugin YAML. I could change this and update it. Since I've actually just hacked PocketMine, let's leave it as it is and show you that PocketMine will now load that plugin despite the fact that the API is out of date. I shouldn't be showing you this, of course, but um, let's just run the server. And you can see that, first of all, it says non-packaged PocketMine MP installation detector. So that, that confirms that we're running from the source code now. Uh, if you didn't rename the FAR file, then it would be running from uh, the FAR file. So make sure that that shows if you're running from source. And we've got our loading source plugin Simple Warp here. So now to make a plugin from that, I can use the make plugin command. And that'll build a FAR file for Simple Warp. But we're now connected to Git, so we can actually um, make pull requests to that, or we can modify the code for our own use. I can also make server, which will create a new FAR file for the server itself, which um, includes any changes that we may have made to the code. So that's how you start actually modifying PocketMine for your own ends or to help the community. Right, so there we go. The FAR has been created here. And again, it's in the DevTools folder. So that's a new PocketMine FAR that includes any changes we may have made to the source code. Uh, while we're at it, let's just stop that and um, go back and look at the branches. Let's just, just show an example of changing the branch. So if I pick this one, for instance, I think that's it. So I've now switched to a new branch. And we could switch back again. So that's it for today. That's a quick introduction to installing PocketMine from source using GitHub. And I hope that was interesting and that it'll help you install and write plugins for PocketMine.